Right. Well, it's, you know, that's, I, first of all, I appreciate your honesty that you share, you share this with, with us especially saying this part that today you felt like uh, there were moments that you feel like you maybe you don't want to continue living any longer. And I have, let me tell you this, you will be amazed that you're not the only person. I know. <laughs> this thought goes through their mind, you know? Yeah, I know that it's like, you know, it's, um, how, how should I say, it's like, I'm, I would say like, my life is in a level where it's really desirable for many people. And it's like, that this thoughts, uh, what I feel is like, I know that that are not my thoughts, but I'm aware of them. And in this intensity, sometimes I cannot, um, yeah, I experience me in the oneness of it. And it's, it's, it's challenging. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about this part you just mentioned in this intensity about the oneness. Say that again. Uh, yeah. In, in the intensity, when I feel that it's like, I feel there is no connection. And I, I know this over the years that uh, oftentimes I feel others in my surroundings stronger than what I, I would say, like, I feel me, yeah, as a person. So, and when I'm connected in this, what everybody in my surrounding or in the collective is feeling is like, uh nature helps me a lot to um just feel something else <laughs> or to uh have possibility to uh yeah right. let's say like to share this intensity with somebody but it's very hard to speak with somebody about it because it's like then it soon starts to get personal while it is not personal right i understand I, 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 um, well, and the experience is personal. Yes, that's true. Yeah. But it's like, uh, all the issues where you could say like, uh, um, put your focus here, or put your focus there. If you have your focus up there. Right. Yeah, and it's, yeah. At, at moments it feels like it's impossible. Yeah, or let's say overwhelming when you said it's like you're listening in the car to um, uh, these teachings, and I also like to do that, but in this moment, everything is too much for me. It's like, right. okay. no more input, please. <laughs> right, exactly, I get it. I, I understand completely. Well, the... What I experienced is when this is happening, what you're going through right now, and it's like you're in a, a pressure cooker, as if they put you in this pressure cooker and they, you know, the <laughs> water there, it's steaming and you have the top on and it's locked up and the pressure is getting stronger and stronger and it's really cooking and and there's no way out it appears to be that way right yeah let's say it's like i feel my connection to everything is open but it's like i don't feel the others um feel me in that yeah let's say like that okay right. i feel i feel funnily disconnected while i'm connected and and this is so weird i understand that i get it so how about if I tell you that is totally normal too? I know. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah. 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 You 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 cannot not be connected. You are connected. Yeah. You're connected, you're connected at all times. You know that because because you've tapped into the juice. So now what happens 
is the appearance of connection is not there. The, the senses, they may not be sensing the connection, but they're sensing something else. And this even sense, sensing disconnected, it is a part of the connection because how can you sense your, how can you feel you're disconnected? You have to be feeling it. So the feelings are there, the senses are there, even in these moments of feeling being disconnected. So you know, what is happening with you is perfect. It's perfect. It's, it's perfect in this way, and I'm going to explain this to you, and maybe this is of any help to you or not, I don't know, but I'll just share it with you, is that it, I, I understand exactly what you're saying, and this, like, this thing is like kind of, or it's like it's ripping you off from inside out. It's like you're being torn. It's, and uh, and while it's happening in, in, in this pressure part of it, that it's everything is like about to explode or it's like, ah, this thing. <laughs> you know? There is one element is not touched. No matter what is happening, no matter how much it feels like it's disconnected or it's connected. One thing in the midst of all of it doesn't change. And that's the beauty of it. And that one thing is the ability to be aware of disconnection or connection, the ability that you have that you're aware of the intensity. There's tremendous amount of intensity is happening but the awareness is there. You are aware that the intensity is there. That does not give you any power to manipulate it. Mm -hmm. And this is where the teaching comes. This is the beauty of it, is most spiritual seekers they believe that if they get to this level of where you're at, they should have the power or the know-how to manipulate what is happening in general, in general, okay? And I'm not saying you do that, but I'm just saying generally. And the mind will come and say that you've been trained enough, you're advanced enough, you're good enough, you've done enough meditations, you've been with enough gurus and teachers that by now you shouldn't be going through what you're going through. Now, what I want to point out to that it is much bigger. It, we can call it the boss, existence, the big kahuna, the spirit, um, that it's much bigger than any of these things. It will do what it wants to do. 